hey guys welcome to node tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to explain you about basics flow control in node red so let's get started so first flow trigger a flow whenever node red starts so this flow basically triggers whenever the deployment happened or whenever the node red server starts example i just deploy this and you can see that message started so whatever the message i'm passing it is going to print here okay so coming to the second flow i'm giving the a regular interval of 5 seconds so every 5 seconds i'm going to print a message okay let me enable this click on deploy so every uh, five seconds you have to see the timestamp here okay you saw the output here after so five seconds there is another output after five seconds another output okay So next flow trigger a flow at specific time. So this I have set every four o'clock on weekdays. This flow going to be triggered and giving this message. Okay, you can try it out of any time of your choice. So coming to the next flow. So route a message based on one of its properties. So what I'm doing is I'm setting this property of sending temperature, humidity, pressure and routing it up and giving the output in the specific debugger node. Okay. If I click on temperature, so you can see that I'm getting that output output in debugger of temperature itself. So this route will help us to do that. So click on humidity and I can see that humidity is printed 45 okay with a debugger of humidity itself. Click on pressure and I am getting that output in this node. So coming to the next flow, I wrote a message based on context property. So what happened is I am just setting those values like 0 1 2 3 in this flow and i'm trying to get that property here or a value here and display the output based on that given or a set value so example i'll just set one so this is the value one i'm getting here so that is set now when i click on this i have to get the response in first node that is output two if you click on set two so this value is going to be set with that with the value 2 when i click on this i try to get output from second debugger node so same way i click on 3 i need to get output from here if i click on this you can see that output i'm getting from this so if i set the value 0 so i should not get any response okay i see that there is no any response from this node So coming to the next flow, here what I'm doing, I'm trying to send a array value, okay, with this data and trying to segregate or split those data and get those data which are only with the value within 0 to 10, okay. And this is a join node where I will combine those all split node which are 0 to 10 and display the output let me trigger this so we can see that i'm getting the value which is having the below value within 10 so coming to the next flow trigger a flow in a message sent received after a defined time okay 
so i click on this i can see that output from this node so i have given the delay of 5 seconds so after 5 seconds the, if the result is not pending so it gives the timeout for me you can see here i have set the 5 seconds coming to the next flow inject array okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to give the value of 0 to 9 okay and what i'm trying here you can see one message per one second okay if i click to this uh, click on this i'm getting one value at a time if i'm giving 0 to 9 i'm getting those value one by one correct let me stop this coming to the next flow handle message a regular rate at a regular rate okay so what happened is i am sending a same array 0 to 9 and passing it to this delay node where every 5 seconds this flow should, is enabled to trigger if i click on one this this flow now for 5 seconds this flow won't work it hold for a 5 seconds after i click only it will enable if I click multiple times, it won't work as it requires five minutes, five seconds to get enabled. So coming to this next flow, drop messages that have not changed the value. Okay, basically what happened is I'm trying to pass zero and one value here. Whenever I click zero, okay, I'll get the output zero. Whenever I click one, I'll get the output one. If I click again one, it go, it's not going to print me the value because I'm sending the same value. Okay. It won't allow me to print those same value repeatedly. If I click to zero again, it's going to print me. If I click to zero again, it won't, it's not printing those value. So coming to the last flow, here what happened? I'm just trying to trigger a value. Okay. I triggered a, a timestamp. So it is taking a trigger to a uh, uh, delay of two seconds. So I'm, I need to get a output. I need to get output for every two seconds. Uh, but I'm not getting here. So basically I need to enable this node. And click on deploy so whenever I click this I need to get a response of timestamp every two seconds it's going to be uh, to get the trigger and give me the value I hope you guys understood the flow so this was just a sample flow which I tried to explain you guys so if you have any queries please comment down below so I will be attaching this code in the description please go and download the code and you can practice in your local and do like this video and uh, do comment if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you so much